Oh yeah, good finisher. And we are at the gym, boys. We've got chest and shoulders on the agenda. New split, second time hitting this specific muscle groups together. And I'm excited. Things have been going good. It's the weekend. I've been waking up early. I've been not smoking. I've been, I just been on my, on my grind. <laughs> Yesterday I woke up at six. I worked on, I obviously worked out, but I filmed the workouts. I edited videos. I uh, filmed my TikTok stuff, which has been doing so well. God is good. Uh, edited that, got that uploaded until three, got ready for work, went into work at four, got, got off at 10, got home, edited more videos, and uh, I'm just been on my grind and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I just hopefully, you know, I've told y'all like I want to make my full-time living off social media. And the main reason is because I enjoy it. I enjoy being able to work out when I want to. And I just, that's, that's really what it comes down to. It's not that I want to make this lavish living off social media. I just want to be able to kind of live the life that I want to. And right now, the, tra the trajectory is good. You know what I'm saying? We just got to keep doing what we're supposed to be doing. Again, God is good. All glory to him. Very thankful for where we're at. And I'm very thankful that things have just been going so well. And it is on me at the end of the day to keep things going well. So I am trying to take it all with a grain of salt and uh, not get too hyper focused on things are going good in this moment. But I just want to put in the work. That's what it comes down to. Put in the work, whether things are going good, things are going bad, or in the middle. So again, we got chest and shoulders on the agenda. I'm going to probably start off with incline barbell press, but there is only one of those at this gym. So if it's not available, I'm not going to stress it. I'm just going to go to dumbbells and maybe I'll do uh, the Smith machine, but there's only two of those. So we'll just see. I'm just going to have fun. I'm not really stressing it too much. At the end of the day, I do need to get out of here. Uh, I've already got tonight's video uploaded to YouTube. Everything, it's already uh, scheduled out. So that's perfect. I uh, do need to get home and I've got to film a recipe for TikTok. If y'all haven't gone and watched those, those have been blowing up. They've, the people have been loving those. Uh, so good. I made a five gallon bucket of it. You know what I'm saying? Those, those have been doing really well. And uh, yeah, so let's get in here. We're gonna probably push a little bit heavier today. Nothing crazy, I don't have a spotter for incline, especially on that, but just overall, we're adding five to 20 pounds uh, per movement than we were about a two to three, four weeks ago. So we're just trying to add a little bit of weight gradually and just try to build some strength and tax that muscle out. So I'm excited, let's get in here and hit this chest and shoulders, baby. What's up, brother? Yeah, How are you? Good. Good, good, good to see you. All right, boys. Got our little chesticle incline. incline. Uh, you know, the camera's one nagged up. I'm trying not to let it get into my dome top. But it does frustrate me a little bit, if we're being honest. Uh, so right now we've got uh, 185 on here. This is set number two. I don't know how many sets we're gonna, we're just gonna vibe today. I am trying to get out of here somewhat quickly, but I'm not, I'm trying to still make sure I have a good workout. So we'll just see how this feels. 135 didn't feel super light. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, it didn't feel as light as it should have. All right. Yep, neither does this, honestly. Ooh. Not feeling, not feeling super strong on the movement, but I am getting some good mind-muscle connection. So we'll probably go up a little bit from here, but I'm not gonna be a doofus and, uh, and uh, go too, too heavy. I don't have a spotter. Also, I wanna make sure I'm at least getting five reps. We'll say at least four reps. So we'll, we'll just see how we feel. So I'll probably add uh, some, some tens on each side. We'll add some tens on each side and, and go from there. See how we're feeling there. Yes, sir. Let's do it. You know, I just realized I never added the weight to the to the bar. 
I'm super distracted. I've got so much going on in my mind. Like some things I just can't talk about. Um, yeah, Y'all will find out this month. And some things are just because my workload, especially on the weekends. Like I'm trying to get in here. Like there's actually a lot of work when you're doing social media stuff. But just like I'm trying to film and edit two videos a day right now, long form videos. Uh, and then working and just responding to all comments and things like that. So y'all can walk in front of it. Y'all can walk in front of it. Yeah, I'm not stressing it. Yeah. Um, so there's just a, a lot going on. So my mind's in like a, a lot of different places, which is a good problem to have. Like I've told y'all before, I want to be busy. I want to be busy. That's if I'm if I'm not busy, that's a problem. I want to be busy. It's just I need. I want to make sure I'm getting everything I'm supposed to be getting done done. All right. But let's stop talking. Let's put in the work on these weights. You know what I mean? All right. A little pause right there. Squeeze three, two, one, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. Feeling that really good in my chest. It's like perfect right now. It's just stripping across. It's exactly what we want, boys. It's exactly what we want. Oh, guy over here getting some good squats in. I like to see that. You know, you see a lot of weight on the barbell sometimes, and you see those reps, and you're like, I know my boy's got a lot of weight on the bar and he's getting some good depth and just good form overall. Love to see it, boys. So I'm definitely just gonna stick here because I think we only got five there. It was either four to six reps. I think it was five. So we'll stick here, probably one or two more sets and then we'll drop the weight down and we'll, uh, we'll crank out a bunch of reps. That's what we'll do. All right, so again, kept the same weight here and uh, probably do this and then maybe, maybe one more set at this weight. Cause uh, I am trying to build a little strength on these movements, especially my chest. My chest is kind of weak for being honest. Comparison to like squat, deadlift, cleans, my chest is pretty weak. So I am trying to build some strength and uh, maybe what we'll do is a set of four We'll only rest like a minute and a half, and then we'll do another set of four. So instead of pushing that five reps, we'll do a little bit less, <clears throat> but that way we get another set in, and we get more reps long, long term, if that makes sense. Just kind of you know get the muscle a little, little, uh, little acquainted with the little heavier weight. For me, this is heavy. I know this ain't heavy for some of y'all. Y'all some y'all some strong men out there. But we're slowly building back strength from prep. Definitely still still got some residual strength loss from prep. All right. Let's see how we're feeling. Oh. Ooh. You can do one more. Don't be a bitch. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Whew. Nice. The one thing I'm not doing today, as y'all know, typically I do those pauses at the bottom. I'm not doing that. So that allows me to move more weight for more reps, no doubt. Uh, I just didn't feel like pausing today. My mind's racing, like I told y'all. I'm just, I'm energetic, I'm feeling good. So we'll do one more set here. Probably not gonna film that set. Um, I'll film, maybe what I'll do, is I'll do one more set here, then another set here, but only do like three reps and do a drop set down to 135. I think that's what we're gonna do, boys. That'll allow me to get a lot of reps in, work on some mind-muscle connection, 
yeah, that, that's what we'll do. Still get the strength aspect and also get that hypertrophic work. So I'll see y'all on that last drop set. So just for the record, your boy wound up getting five on the third set of 205. So I'm very happy with that. No matter what, I'm gonna stop at three here. Cause I wanna do, I do wanna, when I get down to the 135, be able to push a lot of reps. So, and with good form. So I don't wanna be too taxed out. My chest is definitely feeling it. That's a lot more reps than I typically do with heavier weight. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Chest pump, I can tell it's crazy. Uh, we did go lower in carbs yesterday, but um, not nothing crazy. I still had plenty of carbs. I just, this past week, it's like I just been not caring at all and I just been consuming food as I wanted to. So I, I was just a lot more cautious yesterday. Plus I burned off a lot more glycogen yesterday just because I was working and we were very busy. So I was moving the whole time. So even though it wasn't, it's not a workout, just I got like 15 or 16,000 steps yesterday. And this week I've only been getting about 10,000. So three to four more thousand steps, you're gonna burn off some more, some more fuel. But let's just get into this set. Um, just finished the pre, so I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, no matter what, only three here. No pausing at the bottom, maybe, uh, nah, we won't pause at the bottom. Oof. Squeeze. Definitely feeling it more on my right. That's okay. Straight into it, boys. Straight into it. Oh. Yep. All right. Should be a good bit lighter. We'll see. Should be a good bit. Oh yeah. You got one more in you. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Perfect. Man, chest is absolutely ripped up right now. That's what we wanted. That was ideal right there. That was great. I mean, I just know my chest is full of blood right now. That was perfect. That's what we wanted. So definitely gonna go into a shoulder movement next. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be, uh, but definitely going to shoulders movement next to let the chest rest a little bit before we get into another chest movement. That's how we've been prescribing things recently. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'll see y'all when we decide. So we're doing some overhead dumbbell press and uh, I'll show y'all we're not going all the way down, kinda typically I do. Let's get this off. Y'all know what that means. That's an extra five. This will be set number two. So typically, I do like to, why is this fitting weird? All right, there we go. Typically, I will bring the dumbbells all the way down, but today I'm not I'm trying to keep more focus on the shoulders. But the reason that I typically do is because when I do clean and jerk, the barbell is obviously all the way down on my shoulders. But I want to keep my shoulders a little more engaged today. And this will be set number two. Uh, 
oddly enough, typically I feel things more on my right side. Feeling that more on my left side. Not mad about it. Looking full, looking full right now. Definitely, definitely still have some carbs in my system. Again, even though we had less carbs yesterday, it still wasn't like it was a super low carb day, especially in comparison to prep. Um, definitely got probably three to 400 carbs in yesterday. Probably closer to three though. Um, yeah, so that was set number two. We'll, we'll crank out five sets here. I'll film at least one or two more. We'll see you on the next set, boys. Feel like I always film from the left side. So I'll switch it up for y'all, get from the right side. I don't look as juicy on the right side. That's why I do that, if we're being honest. All right, so we're going a little heavier than we typically do on these. Slowly again, building back that strength, uh, adding five, 10, 15 pounds where we can, and uh, just trying to see if we can get a thumbnail out of this. Squeeze it. Last video, we did a thumbnail like this. Y'all blew it up, so I appreciate that. Oh, oh, oh. Same theme. Not going all the way down. rep was a grinder um, I do think what I'll probably do is I'm gonna drop this weight down because it was good to get a little bit of heavy weight um, but I'm not getting that good of mind muscle connection so I want to make sure I'm getting some good mind muscle connection and uh, it was good to tax it out with a little heavy weight that's good and all but if I'm not getting good mind muscle connection I don't want it so we'll, we'll step down the weight we're at 60s right now and uh, honestly, I'm a little fatigued, so probably go to 45s, and we'll go from there. That's probably, that's maybe, maybe go to 50s, but we'll see. We'll see what the vibe is. One thing I hate is I gotta walk a quarter mile to put these dumbbells up, so that's no fun. But it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, y'all. I th think we'll make this the last set. I don't think I mentioned we did the 60s for two sets. Uh, so we didn't do it for just one. Um, uh, so I'm feeling pretty good, feeling taxed. Uh, just honestly, it, I don't know if it was the positioning, the downlighting or what, but I was just taking a peek in the mirror. We'll check the pump after this, matter of fact, uh, to see if that was just an illusion. But I was standing right there. And in that mirror in front of me, I was looking yacked. And the chest striations were going all the way through. So I mean, I'm interested to go check the pump after this set. The shoulders are kind of capped out right now. They're, they're still gonna get some more blood flow to them because this isn't, you know, we're only one movement each per muscle group in. So right now focusing on kind of kind of switching things up on the muscle groups and doing a little bit of heavy. Again, last set, I wasn't getting great mind muscle connection. So I wanted to get some mind muscle connection. Uh, putting the carbs to work again still plenty of carbs in the system even though we went lower on carbs the thing is I was probably getting like five or six hundred in each day just because I was eating like dog shit and I was just not caring I was just like I'm just gonna eat whatever I want and I was drinking alcohol so yesterday only getting like 300 in I can tell a little bit of a difference in my physique and uh, I'm not mad about it I'm still feeling good still still having a great workout I felt really good on that incline once I got going. At first it felt heavy, but I felt really good once I got going. Boop, boop, let's stop rambling. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Oh, 
their shoulders I'm not gonna lie I said squeeze their shoulders I'm really just trying to get a thumbnail right now for being honest looking broad looking thick shoulders looking capped triceps are looking good work the grip strength though at minimum all right that'll probably make for a good thumbnail All right, boys, we're gonna get in some type of chest fly variation. I feel like we've been doing, uh, no, I think, I don't know what we did last, last one. I'm feeling low to high though. Maybe just uh, horizontal with the ground, but we'll see. We'll see, stick around and find out. I did almost forget to come check the pump. I mean, that's crazy. I did get one more, or I've gotten one set of uh, chest flies in. Just so y'all know, but yeah, I forgot to come check after the shoulder press. Feeling pretty good, feeling carved up. Steel, still looking full. Got some good striations going. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <sighs> yeah, just had to come check that out. Doesn't look as good as it did over there though. Far away, I was like, damn, damn. But yeah, so we're gonna get these chest flies in. I'm doing a seated back supported chest fly and it's feeling really good see that's gnarly that's gnarly right there boom I like that all right so we're gonna go finish this sets up so like I stated doing a seated back supported chest fly and uh, this will be set number two right here we'll probably we're getting a little bit behind uh, probably only filmed two sets here this is set number two and uh, first set felt pretty good I haven't done a back supported I feel like in quite some time one thing I like doing with the one at One Life is I like getting one of those medicine balls uh, or they're kind of like the yoga medicine balls and I'll use that but I don't know where those are here or if they even have them actually. Really good uh, connection on the outside of my chest, not so much in the middle. Stretch. Ooh. See if I can move the seat a little higher. Oh, fuck. I just want to see how that felt. Oh, finally, the bathroom. They had it blocked off for cleaning. I've had to take a leak for a minute. You know what the worst thing is? So when you gotta take a poop, or you kinda gotta take a poop, but you're not quite there yet in mid-workout, it's like, you know, we're on that fine line right now. I wish I could just go get it out. It'd just be feeling light, feeling crisp through the workout. Little uh, personal information there. Getting a little personal with y'all. But yeah, so I'm gonna go take a leak, and I'm gonna film at least one more set of these. This is gonna be set number four, and uh, this will be the last set that I do here. Um, and we're gonna get some lateral shoulder raises in and then we'll do one more chest movement and call her a day. I do need to hit some legs. I wound up, I honestly forgot yesterday, I've been so busy to do the legs. I, I literally forgot to do the volume of legs. It's not that it was like a leg day or anything, but I just need to keep my legs ready to handle some volume. Mm.
This is too heavy. I'm kind of pressing it. Call myself out just. I just want to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to. This is the last set. Stretch. and reps. Yes, sir, -y Bob. Yes, sir, -y Bob. Whew. All right. So now we'll go into uh, standing lateral shoulder raises. I feel like I'm washed out right now, but oh well, boys, sorry. Uh, yeah, so we'll get into that. Catch him back up to schedule a little bit. I just need to make sure I get home, film, edit this video so I can upload today on TikTok. I'm on my grind, boys. I'm on my fucking grind. And I'm loving every second of it. You know, it, it got me off last night when I went to bed at like 12.30 and I knew I had been literally working since 6 a.m. That shit got me off. I'm not even gonna lie, I love it. I love it. I need more of that. We woke up at six this morning. We went, responded to like three, 400 comments. Not that, not that many, that was a lie. One to 200 comments. We responded to a shit ton of comments on TikTok. We uh, building that website, so worked on that a little bit. Made our breakfast, came here, gonna go home. I gotta go to the grocery store to pick up some stuff for today's TikTok video. I'm filming two TikTok videos today. I'm editing both of them, uploading one of them. We're, we're ready, baby. I'm ready to grind. All right, so we, uh, Oddly enough, because there's a shit ton, all the, everything I wanted in there was taken or in the dumbbell section. It was just so full. I wasn't gonna be able to film, so I came in here. I am using um, kettlebells as dumbbells, but it is what it is. I just realized uh, they're about the same. So one's 12 kg, one's 25 pounds. So they're probably within a, I don't know, a half pound of each other. Yeah, I'll be all right, be all right. So we're just doing some lateral shoulder raises. I would prefer to have something between my legs but it is what it is. So remember, out and up, it's so much quieter in here. I just feel like I'm talking really loud now. I will say, I look jacked in this mirror. Y'all let me know what you think. Ooh. 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 Honestly, not mad at the kettlebells. It's a little different. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Resting a little too long at the bottom. Ooh. 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 One, two, three. Oh. I'm not mad at the kettlebells. I do obviously prefer the, uh, the dumbbells, but in this room there's dumbbells, but they only go up to 15s. So I was like, I'm gonna, maybe I'll finish off with some 15s, just tax out a bunch of reps, really get some good mind muscle connection. But I uh, wanted to do a two or three sets with a little heavier. This isn't super heavy, but 15s would not have been heavy enough. So uh, the plan is, this is gonna be my last shoulder movement. So the plan is to do um, five sets. Was that set number one? That was set number one. I'm gonna film one more set here, maybe two. Do one more chest movement. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all wanna know it's crazy? Is this dumbbell weighs only one more pound than this dumbbell. <laughs> it's all an illusion, baby. It's all an illusion. That's crazy. I guess it's good for people if they wanna look big. All right, so this is gonna be set number three that I'm about to hit. And uh, we'll do five here, but honestly, I wanna make sure I get out of here and get my things done today. So I'll probably will only film this set and then one of the chest and then we'll get in the posing room. Last I checked, 
the posing room was available to check these gains. So, uh, I tell you what, I need to wash these shirts in some hot water. Granted, if I put on another 10 pounds, they'll probably sit up a little bit higher, but definitely looking like a dress sometimes. And then when I'm walking through the grocery store after the workouts, the nips are popping and stuff. But uh, hey, maybe the hot moms like it. All right, I mean, that's looking pretty juicy right there, right? Maybe a thumbnail for that. I look like a freaking military guy. Let's go. Out and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. douchebag I want to try something I want to still see if I can do handstand walking I feel like I'm gonna look like a douchebag because like there's there's females down there I don't want them to think I'm doing it for them so if they leave I'll do it but I don't want to look like oh this guy's trying to act like a hard ass doing you know what I mean I'm like opposite of that so I'm not gonna do it because they're down there but if they leave I'll do it all right so uh, otherwise if I don't do that, I'll see you on the next chest movement, boys. Okay, so the camera's wanting to shut off. Thankfully, we're at the end of the workout. But, uh, yeah, that's why that clip was there, edited. But we'll see. Let's get some good positioning on this. I just feel like I can really get a good squeeze at the bottom here. Again, not what this machine is made for. Ugh. Try this. See if the camera's still rolling. It is. Very nice. Um, so I'm gonna do probably film another set. We'll see. Posing room is taken though, boys. So I'm gonna figure that out. I might just go tarps off where I'm not supposed to go tarps off. Again, this is just a movement that I like doing. It's a good change up. It's not a staple in the workouts, but it's good to hit different pathways, change things up try new and I try new things so if you try it and you don't like it I mean okay don't do it I mean like what do you want from me I like it and uh, again I don't do it every chest workout or anything but it's something I can do pretty quickly push some more blood flow into the chest to finish off the workout so uh, I'm gonna do two more sets here I'll film at least one all right chill so this is gonna be our last set here Again, I might go a little heavier though, for real. All right, a little weight. Oh yeah. I'm trying to find the positioning I want today. Oh, there it is. Good finisher. Good finisher. Oh, 
All right, boys. Solid ass fucking chest and shoulders. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to do posing. Maybe I'll just do it in the locker room. I try not to do that. But if there's people in there changing the stuff, I'm not gonna do it in there. Gotta show respect, you know? Um, but I don't know where you're gonna see me next. I will do posing today because we didn't have posing in yesterday's video. I apologize. But I will make sure that we get some posing in today's video. So uh, I'll see you then, boys. A couple things. So I did try to go into the locker room. There's nobody in there, but the lighting was absolute dog shit. So I decided I wasn't gonna go in there. Also realized that the blue setting on my camera was probably super low for the last couple sets because I went into that room and changed it, but it is what it is. So we, uh, we're just gonna check the pump out here. Posing room's taken, locker room has dog shit lighting. It is what it is. Not bad, boys. Not bad. I realized on my last back day, I uh, I didn't even flex the back. I didn't even pose the back. Which, granted, I was in a weird spot because I had to do it out here. So I was like, uh, out of my element. Um, but yeah, rookie move to not, which was yesterday rookie move to hit back and then film posing and not hit back pose that's crazy that's rookie see how the legs are looking that one looks like it's full that kind of does too blood flow is just going everywhere today baby overall feeling good solid chest in the locker room though i could tell my chest was like super full which is nice I did push a bunch of blood flow on that, that last movement. Uh, that one kind of rips up the whole chest because I was kind of switching my hand grip throughout the, the different sets. And um, I did a lot of reps, so just super full. I feel like uh, shoulders are nice and capped out. They're not, uh, maybe not capped out. They're about 85% capped out. But we are needing to get out of here. So I had to do what I had to do, call it a day. Um, I am gonna hit some legs tonight. I'm just gonna do probably Probably set a timer for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll go 12 and a half minutes and I'm just gonna lunge the whole time. No breaks allowed. Get these legs primed up and used to doing a lot of volume. So that's that's gonna happen later tonight, probably when I get off work. So I'll be out uh, in the One Life parking lot hitting them lunges if y'all wanna come visit me around, around 11 p.m. tonight. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you made it this far, you're a true OG. It means the world to me. Thank y'all very much. And uh, yeah, if you'd like, throw a comment, like, subscribe, anything for the algorithm, it means a ton. And if not, I totally understand. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. That helps me more than you freaking know. And I appreciate you and I love you guys helping me grind. I told y'all things have been going so good. I'm gonna keep putting my end of work in. Good, bad, ugly, we're gonna keep grinding no matter what, taking everything with a grain of salt. I'm super, super thankful for the position I'm in right now. And I just wanna elevate. And I wanna grow through these times. And uh, thank you all for making this possible. So keep doing what we're supposed to be doing. That's what we. That's what. That's all we can do, baby. Uh, but I think that's gonna wrap it up. If y'all got any questions, drop down in the comments. Let me know if y'all liked anything about today's video. I know I've been speaking a little bit faster today, but it's because I am. Uh, I'm just energetic. I'm feeling good, boys. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.